for now. I already have this UVW back, I think. Uh, let's see. Yep. So it's UVW maps, uh, and I'm to remove textures. That was good. Everything here is okay. It's pretty good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go uh, render my UVW template, and I like to use 500 by 500. All right, and then I'll save it. And I'll save it as chair dot jpeg. All right, now you'll notice uh, this. By the way, this is for uh, this tutorial. Uh, if you've read the uh, description or anything, you know how this for. But it's for the uh, newcomers to uh, mags or UVW mapping or whatever. So here, as you can see, I just added the uh, UVW template, and it basically shows you the edges. Uh, the way they are, uh, if I were just to do this, you can see, you can see the edges are exactly where the uh, edges are of the EVW template. Alright, now we're going to go and open up the EVW template in GIMP. So, open uh, Alright, so first thing we do is we add a new layer, we put a uh, base color. This is basically going to be just the color that the uh, the chair as a whole. Alright, now I'm going to bring down the opacity just so we can see through it. I'm going to make another layer. Uh, you're going to be making a lot of layers when you do UVW map. And then you want to probably save it as .xcf uh, so that way you can still open up layers and stuff later. That's going to be colors. And then we're going to make another layer. It's going to be fun. Alright, so basically that's probably going to be all you need. Alright, uh, in this case, I want to kind of keep going with um, my design that you saw earlier where it's all kind of stone feeling. Uh, so that's why my base color is like a gray. Alright, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of make this a little bit like look soft. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to color in this whole area right here. Uh, not like a. Uh, Probably like more of a white color and big brush. Actually, bring it to not, that's too much. But this be good. All right, now it doesn't matter if you're in or outside the lines in this case because uh, you just color it with one single color. Number one, and number two is uh, there's no other UVs over here other than this, and you're not even touching it. Deal with the tab you want to touch it to. So. Uh, let's see. So we'll go ahead and save. Uh, you'll see that it's just I this I have uh, broken up the outside and inside. So the outside's a little bit darker than the inside, as you can see. Now uh, we're gonna bring down the opacity on this, and now we're going to go into the bump. And above, I'm going to go ahead and section off areas that I'm going to fill it or uh, gradient it. What the two colors we're using. And I want to make it close, but not exact. Color that, uh, then you're just going to click Control V, Control C, and give it just a little bit of space. Same thing. And you want to make sure it goes to the edge. Now what I'm going to do is save it, and now you're going to see a little bit weird stuff on the inside of the chair. Um, that's not nostalgia, but uh, right, I'm 
along the edge of the sphere, you can see that it's there. So we can fix that or leave it how it is. Uh, I'll just leave it how it is just for the second time. Um, normally I would actually model out these things too, the inside there, but today I'm feeling kind of lazy and uh, you really don't need it for the game. So keep it like that. And now we can go ahead and do um, a few different things out here. So I guess I'll make one more layer. So there will be scratches. Now you won't have any scratches on like the pillory area. But you'll have scratches on this. Uh, the, I'm going to use a brush that comes with the imp. It's graffiti. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to try to not make it big, obviously, but I want to make it uh, small just so that way I can. Well, I guess I have to. I want to make sure I have the base color all the way up. Okay, good. That's just to see what the scratches will look like. And now, I'm just basically going to come around like this. Come all the way through. And this is not, they're not really like scratches, but they'll uh, add a little bit more detail to it. Um, make it look a little better. Same, same rule applies here, it doesn't really matter how far out you go as long as you go across this. So this really what takes the longest because um, you have to make sure that you get uh, basically everything done with this so that way it doesn't look weird. So as you can see uh, with the graffiti you're missing several spots, which is good, which is exactly how I want to have mine. This will give it a little bit more detail, make it look a little better. So, um, some people like this keep solid colors and kind of mix it up. I like to keep it, um, you know, so, some things I like to have solid, like up here, but most things I like to keep uh, kind of realistic almost, I guess. I'm not the greatest at texturing, but it's just a little bit of uh, what I like to do here. Alright, so now I have something like this. And then, uh, that in. Sometimes there'll be areas where you just go, like, oh, yeah, I should definitely go there. So, go. As you can see, it looks something like that. Um, now I want to have it a little bit darker, just so that way it comes up a little bit uh, different, a little bit uh, more noticeable than what it is right now. So, over here, up there, and then I'll just go over this one more time. I'm doing this really fast. Actually, it can be good to do what I'm doing right now, though. Uh, not really fast, but kind of make it mix of the two colors. Um, the reason being is because it might give it a little bit more of a complex and realistic look to it. So we'll see what it looks like. And as you can see, I'm just from the darker color. I'm making a little bit like uh, less subtle circles and stuff. Uh, they're straight. And just got it. So there, that's the uh, one that I want. And so basically, here's a UVW map texture chair. Uh, top, bottom, no one can see. Stand. And uh, yeah, hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you didn't like it, rate, comment. Don't have to subscribe. <laughs> and I uh, hope to see you guys in my next. Tutorials, and I'll probably end up putting this in Kyoto. Alright, see you later.